Venezuela is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. What is even more striking is that this country has so much natural resources. It's one of the richest country in the world. And when you walk in this city, there are some areas you feel you're in a very poor country. So you wonder, where all this money, where did it go? What happened? It shows that the country has been really poorly managed. How wealthy the country is and how poor the people are. It's not anymore a, a, a local crisis. It's not, even, it's not even a regional crisis. And now it's a global crisis. We're now stuck in a situation where most of the international community is backing one side and the army is backing another side. And if the government collapses, you get into a situation of chaos and further suffering. At the end of the day, the people of Venezuela are the ones paying the price. It's not the opposition or the government, it's the people. To some extent, in a cynical way, the sanctions are actually helping the, the government. By putting the burden on the people, they're actually weakening the people and weakening their ability to resist to the government. Because people are now thinking about, today, you know, I need food, I need medicine today. This is my concern. My concern is not anymore who's going to run the country. My concern is, I need to survive this day. Crisis Group is one of the very few organizations that is able to talk to the highest level of the government and the highest level of the opposition. As a result, I think we are and we have been trying to see how those different stakeholders can come to some kind of dialogue, whether directly or indirectly. You'd be as surprised to realize that Sometimes basic communication doesn't even exist. And this is where, where crisis group can play a role and can help you know, make that bridge. And what we're trying to do now is to bring most of the stakeholders around the table, have a conversation, because we're now in a situation where basically everybody in a, is in a deadlock. There's, it's a lose-lose situation. There's no winners, so this is the perfect time for people to agree to sit around the table.